Hi guys. So just a minute, I'm, I'm just uh, putting the TV something more interesting. I guess they have a little of this. So anyway, I wanted to talk to you. I'm drinking my morning coffee, and it's not coffee because I don't drink coffee. It's like a, it's Nescafe coffee. It's scented. I don't know something with like coffee, but it's tasty. Anyway, I'm sorry about my sinuses. That's what I wanted to talk to you about about this stupid coronavirus that's really doing all the headlines and stuff. Well, anyway, oh, I'm sorry. I have to blow my nose. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, I'm not sure if you know, I'm not sure how it is in your country, but I look awful. Well, before I start to talk, Monday is a haircut day. As you can see, I look, I didn't wash my hair for, as you can see how greasy it is. So, Monday is a haircut day. I found a hairdresser and let's hope she does a good job. She has an Instagram. And you can see her hair, hair haircuts there. I may be link it underneath. Yes, I probably will. I'm not sure if I forget it. I'm sorry if I forget. Anyway, mm, I just wanted to say that uh, here in my country, we are next to Italy, and Italy is very, as you know, uh, full of. Uh, coronavirus and I think it's one of the worst countries in the world right now and we closed our borders for them to get in and stuff like that I don't know what happened I, I think it's for everybody I don't know but anyway uh, in my country we have I think we have 25 cases of infections but without any deaths so that's good because I'm not sure why but in here it's a different strain it's a bit um, more it's a bit weaker I guess and but you know people panic and I hate that here we have such a big panic here you know like you know and people are just buying toilet paper I'm not I, I just don't get it yesterday I just went to the store to buy a few things for lunch and you know there were so many people there you just go crazy you just go like what if you know what's happening where am I is this a movie what's happening because you know uh, because you know when you have allergies I'm gonna just put a parallel when you have allergies when you, my eyes are burning my nose is dripping I'm coughing out the you know the lumps of shit you know you just don't think that uh about coronavirus because this is enough you know you're just like <clears throat> you know stuffed up you know everything is just dripping and if you don't have eye drops uh, nose drops ear drops if you don't have the thing for your mouth you go crazy and then you think about coronavirus and the, the things that people don't know that coronavirus is not about dripping it's about dryness and the people that cough, they have coronavirus, they, are, they have like dry cough without any liquids, without any saliva, without any, um, how do you say, mucus. So as long as I have allergies, I'm corona free. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, I'm not kidding about that. I'm just kidding about everything because it just, it's just so, so funny. I don't know. It just makes me, makes me scream because uh, it seems... It seems that most of it is media fabricated and um, I just, uh, there was a girl that came to my art studio and uh, she bought one painting, painting and I think I showed you that painting, it's uh, with a guy with a mask and she said she's going to give it to a baby um, that her friend is going to have because she wants the baby to know that she was born in the coronavirus time and it really touched me even if it is kind of funny and strange but look you know we are living in these times and what happened is that she was in Wuhan I, I think I'm saying it right the, you know the city that started everything in China 
and she had to be isolated in France for two weeks and she's here now so I had first um, hand uh, you know um, uh, talk about it and believe me it's not as bad as they say and it's not as bad, bad as they show so um, I don't know why are they doing that I'm not sure because you know, the, I'm just going to go to the facts that the common flu is killing still more than this. So, and common flu is all around the world. So I don't get it. What the fuss is about? And I'm not sure if you remember if the SARS and Ebola and everything was bird flu and swine flu, whatever what it was. Was it the same? I don't remember. This just seems like an apocalypse, you know, it's so strange because I, I feel, you know, aside, of, aside from the allergies, I feel fine, but I did get this for my hands. I don't know if you can see the focus, focus, wait, focus, focus. It's not gonna focus. Anyway, it's a hand sanitizer, but I got it from a person that uh, works in the hospital. So this is a hospital thing. It's what they use. It's very strong, and I just have it for my hands. I don't care because you know, in the tram and in the buses we have these little things that I say COVID. I don't know what's the name of the virus and. Don't stand too close, don't cough, don't do this, don't do that. I mean, we are all piled up on one on, one on each other. I mean, we're all going to get it if one has it. So what's the point, right? And uh, I don't know. Yesterday, it was funny. Yesterday, a guy coughed in the tram. He just went like, <coughs> just like that. And, and, and there was a few people that just went like, and me and one woman, we just turned around to him and, and start laughing and because it was too funny to even uh, start to talk about any virus because it was just too funny because you can see that people the, that the person was not sick and he just looked at us he saw that we were okay and he turned to others and he said I'm a smoker I'm a smoker you know it was a smoking mm, uh, cough and it was so funny and I was thinking you know where do we live I mean do we really need that little uh, that little um, push to become monsters? You know, you know, if we all get sick, we all get sick. You know, I don't I don't see the problem here because uh, you know every few hundred years or whatever we get a pandemic like this, and it's here. In my opinion, if it's natural. To strengthen your immune system and plus you know what I don't think it's even a human made it's even a nature made it seems like it's human made but I'm not gonna guess about that because those are like uh, conspiracy theories which I could go into believe me because I love those but um, it just seems strange that some countries are affected and some are not at all you know Italy across my country is actually next to my country is one of the worst in the world and we have almost nothing 25 people infected that's nothing because nobody's dying and people are getting cured here and you know uh, I'm not sure how about how it is in America and how it is in UK and Ireland and I think there is more cases there well there's more people we have four four million people here only so four million people and 25 cases that's nothing there's gonna probably be more but we are very efficient in getting uh, people isolated immediately and we have I don't know why but people here are conscious about it and they just turn themselves in for a checkup you know and then they see if they have it or not and so we'll see but I have to go to the hospital next week no 25th 25th I have to go have the halter the thing for the blood pressure so I'm not sure if they're gonna reschedule again and I rescheduled it before they rescheduled it before 
I just hope that he's gonna die out in a month, you know, because I want to have a peaceful summer, I want to have an air conditioner in my room, I want to collect the money for it, I just want to save up for it, I don't want to, you know, do anything crazy or just, I don't want end of the world, you know, the end of the world, it just seems so weird to me, even saying it, because... You know, when I uh, put a Facebook on it, so it's just immediately coronavirus, coronavirus, coronavirus. I mean, it's like, what's happening, you know? What's happening? You know, it's like stronger uh, version of flu, you know? But still people are, sca people are scared. I mean, I had a... I had a bacterial infection of my lungs, I had a pneumonia that almost killed me 10 years ago and believe me that's rough and if coronavirus is like that, high temperature, um, my um, uh, oxygen saturation was like 65 and it should be like over 90 and I was on oxygen and I was on life support in one time and I had my ex oxygen mask all the time and on the IVs and everything and they cleared my ammonia and everything and I, you know, the bacteria and, you know, if it's like that, you can get through, you know, if I did. Plus, um, I did get a shot against tuberculosis and lung infections three times so they said it it's going to last till the end of my life we'll see so that could help as well i guess i don't know and i'm not worried about myself i'm worried about my mom because she's in her 60s you know and um, <laughs> they say that only older people almost all, all almost only older people get it but here we have only young people that got it so it's really strange i don't know and all the people that got it here came from other countries. I mean, they were there working or something, and they, I think it was Italy and stuff, yeah. So my chest are hurting, but I have so much mucus here, and I have to <coughs> cough it out, and, you know, it just doesn't go that well, because we have allergy seasons, and everything is in bloom, and it's very hot, and I'm just waiting for the rain, they said it, gonna rain today you should see outside everything is just colors I mean so much flowers I you know we didn't have any winter not a single bug died not a single weed died everything just lived 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 because we didn't have any cold weather so that's not good it's not good at all and I'm just rambling because it makes you know it's just so funny when it happens and I'm just looking at my greasy hair and thinking how could you get out like this? I'm looking like a, like a cow licked my hair. I don't know. Anyway, on the side note, I did apply for one exhibition. Actually, for much more exhibition, not just one. The cat is eating. I'm just... I'm just looking if she's gonna... She's eating. We had a contraption made for the cat that everything is elevated on her till here when she eats standing up like this because that's how cats should eat. They shouldn't eat with a head down. They should eat, you know, like this and we made it and she is eating it so it's good and she looks great. Anyway, mm, yeah. I don't know, we'll see. I applied for so much things, but I don't know if anything's gonna happen right now because of the virus, everything is just uh, canceled and my exhibition should be, my next exhibition, big exhibition should be on 20th, 20th of the month number five. I think it's May. So I hope everything's gonna die out. Not everybody, <laughs> everything till then because and my teeth are hurting. I have one tooth here. It looks healthy, but it hurts on cold, so it's got to be fixed. I have another one that hurts on cold, wisdom tooth, that's got to be killed, 
and I guess the how do you say the root has to be extracted and I don't know and the thing where I had that surgery on the tooth it still hurts the bone here a lot and they said it's normal it's gonna hurt for a year so we'll see anyway guys I'm sorry about this rant I just wanted to say my opinion because I'm not sure how it is in your country and when I but what I see about uh, America US and uh, you know stuff about coronavirus there I don't like it when I read that it doesn't seem right it doesn't seem good I don't think you are take taken care of there so I'm not sure why but I always think that Europe is doing a much better job in containing stuff than US and US should be more more smarter but you know it's not up to you guys it's up to your government and I guess the governments are get, going crazy this time of you know in this time of this stupid outbreak or whatever pandemic you know I'm just I'm just sounding like news now but you never know I'm just I'm just feeling like I'm in a movie it's so strange when you see people in the stores just buying everything and you're just thinking do you need all that do you need all that you know when are you gonna eat all that you know because I don't know maybe maybe at last I lose some weight that would be good I'm gonna stand up I'm really I'm really fat I know you guys don't don't see that wait So guys, hi. So I know you don't see me the whole way all the time, but you know, this is fat. Look, and it's not here, it's just here, and it's so soft. And when I lift my shirt, you're gonna die. I don't care, I'm gonna show it so. This is the problem. This and this. If I lose this and if I lose this, I'm gonna be a okay. So, so much about coronavirus, guys, and so much about everything. And just peace, stay healthy, big kiss, love you, and talk to you soon. This was an early morning vlog that I had to do because of all the headlines. It just stuck with you. Bye.